Okay guys, so here is a final video with a presentation of performance of, uh, you know, master and a slave uh, dual system with the 14 GTX 1080. So uh, let me tell you about the environment we're working in. So the air temperature right now is 25 Celsius. It's, you know, it, I just closed the window for the silence, you know, just not to affect any noise from the street going on in, in, going into the room. So air temperature is 25 Celsius now and the water temperature in, in the master computer is 27. So treat is the master and the slave as a comparable one. So we have something like two Celsius below the, above the ambient temperature, okay? So as you see, the Aquaro is set in terms of fan speed. It's pretty silent, it's almost inaudible, you know, 800 RPMs for the PO2 noise blocker fans just is a very, very mild, pleasant noise. So uh, I'm sitting about half a meter from the master and uh, one meter from the slave. So it's just pretty silent, you know, environment. So even if I just, you know, stop talking, you should not hear any noise, right? Okay, so as you see the fan speed, I'm sorry, the pump speed, are set to about 3000 RPMs, right? 3500 RPMs. So it's it's about 70-75% of the maximum speed of the pumps. So uh, let me give you some, some notes about temperature. So here is no, here, here are the temperatures. Here are the temperature measurements for the seven GPUs. So right now we are sitting at maybe something like 30s, okay? So as you see there are no activity in the in the any GPU in the master computer. Okay, so let me minimize it. And here is the uh, MSI afterburn burner indicator. So right now we are at idle. Uh, okay, so when we start rendering, we will see 2000 in the core megahertz and co at core and uh, something around 5000 megahertz in memory. Okay, so let me, let me show you the activity of a, uh, you know, a dual Xeon. Right, so we have 16 physical cores and 32 threads, and each of them is working at about from 2.2 to 3 gigahertz each. Okay, so as you see, the system is idling, you know, at 1%, so it's pretty doing nothing. Okay, so right now, here's a main excerpt. So I'm just opening the uh, demo scene in Octane, okay, and in the file preferences, I go to I go to a network rendering and in the network rendering as you see there is a slave marked with extra seven GPUs okay so I'm using all the devices in the slave and the master uh, the slave GPUs are not visible here but they are working you know so I just I know they are working because I, I see significant uh, increase in speed so Okay, so if you want to compare, please drop a note below the video how fast your system is working, okay? So let me tell you uh, how to measure it, okay? So first of all, open the Octane benchmarked scene or BX file, but do not modify it. You may even lock it, the pedal should be locked. Uh, the padlock should be, should be locked not to affect any, you know, geometry change or the view change in the viewport. Okay, so we should see exactly the same scene and the path tracing should be selected. Now, what I do to maximize the power in the path tracing mode, I change the kernel settings. I just change the kernel settings, uh, clicking on this icon on the, on the kernel and maximize the parallel samples to 16 and the max tile samples to 32. We may adjust, math, uh, we may set path turn power set to one and coherent ratio set to one, okay? And now look at the speed of Octane, right? So as you see, I just rendered uh, 137,000 samples in three minutes. So look at this, okay? What I'm reaching, I'm reaching something around 400, 380, and the system is not overclocked. So I should get something above 400 if I overclock all of the 14 GPUs. So this is the speed of 14 GTX 1080s. If you want to compare your computer to this machine, you just simply run the Octane Benchmark RBX file, do not modify the viewports, adjust the parallel samples and the max style samples to maximum, coherent ratio and path and power set to one, and then compare this speed, this 370, 380, 
you know, I can overclock this uh, mother, uh, this um, computer by about 10%, maybe 20% to exceed the 400 benchmark, 400 speed. This is the real speed of 14 1080s. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm very happy I just uh, finished the build lock of the two machines. I will just post some photo shooting. Now it's time for rest, okay? So I hope the next build lock will be much more powerful. I'm preparing to building maybe 20 GPU machine in a single license, but this is the future plan for the future year. So for now, thank you for watching. I strongly encourage you to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button, and I'm just waiting for your comments. If you liked it, if you have any questions, if you have any you know remarks, what did you what you like, what you what you didn't like, okay? Thank you and take care. Bye bye.